Hey everyone, it's Debbie. So today is Tuesday and I thought that I would do some vlogging because Justin and I are going to go out and about and do a few errands and I haven't filmed a vlog in a long time. Actually I did on Saturday because we went to the Cincinnati Reds baseball game but I didn't feel like I had enough footage to make an entire vlog out of it. So what I'll probably do is I'll film today and then at the end of today's footage I'll add on the few clips that I got from the baseball game which it'll be out of order but I don't know. It was a lot of fun so I still want to attach the clips so you guys can see what it was like but it was the first major league baseball game I've gone to since I was a kid so we had a really good time. So we just drove up to Cincinnati. It's about three, four hours away, something like that. Got some lunch, kind of walked around a little while and then went to the game. So it was a good day. But anyways, I'll just attach that stuff at the end. So anyways, don't mind my hair. It's just kind of one of those days where I just don't really feel like doing anything to my hair or getting ready. It's really gray outside and gloomy, which kind of stinks for the end of July. I'm wearing long sleeves, as you can see, which is annoying because <laughs> it's only 70 degrees here today. But anyways, hopefully next week is my last full week of summer break before I have to get back to teaching. So I'm hoping that we get some sunny weather and the temperatures get back to normal so I can swim and enjoy the last week of summer vacation. But anyways, we're going to head to Walmart here in just a little bit. Justin, he hunts, so he has a few trail cameras that he needs to put up, but they need batteries. So he's going to get some batteries for his camera, and I need to get a couple food items. And I may end up checking out the back-to-school section and just see what all they have for sale and things like that. So we'll just talk to you guys in a bit. Bye. some letters. Bye. So here we are about to pull into Walmart and you guys can see like I was saying earlier what a gross day it is outside. You can see all the gray clouds. It's just not a very nice day for summer. So hopefully Walmart's not too crowded. It doesn't look too bad today. Anyway, we'll see what we can find in here. We are just now leaving Walmart, which that was a really fast trip. But anyways, when we were walking out, we found a dead frog attached to the front of the car, which is really disgusting. We thought it was a dead bird at first, but it's a dead frog. But don't worry, guys, I won't vlog it. It's pretty disgusting. So don't know how that happened because you don't really see. There are frogs around here, but you just don't see them that often. So it's kind of weird. So we just got home. We had Chick-fil-A for dinner, which was awesome. So I don't really go there that often, so it was really good. But anyways, now we're just sitting here watching TV. I did have Justin watching Dance Moms, but now I'm stuck watching whatever this is. What is this anyways? Destination Truth. I don't know. So anyway, here in a little bit, Justin's going to go out and take the frog off the front of the car. So... I asked him how he was going to take it off and he said with his hands, which is pretty disgusting, but ugh, I don't know. I couldn't even hardly eat because it was just so disgusting to think about that. But yeah, anyway, so we're just hanging out. I need to clean the second half of the house. I did part of it earlier. I need to do the rest tonight, so I'll probably get started on that pretty soon. Okay, so I forgot to show you guys this when I made it. But I found this recipe on Pinterest, and it's for the Starbucks cookie crumble mocha. And you just make it in your blender. And so I got this recipe off of Pinterest and tried it, and it tastes almost just the same as the Starbucks does. So, hold on, let me get to my Instagram, and I'll show you how it turned out. So, there is ours after I made them. So... They turned out really good, and I think they look cute, too, in those little cups. So, yeah, that was a good Pinterest find. Okay, so Justin just left to go to work, and I am working on a few things that I really, really needed to get finished before summer ends. Like I said earlier, this is pretty much my last full week of summer break, because next week I have a couple of trainings and things to go to. So, the things that I needed to get done were I needed to get my thank you cards filled out finally for our wedding which the wedding was a month ago but there were just so many things going on this summer that I just now finally got a chance to sit down and write all these cards out and my hand is so sore from writing but I finally got those finished so I just need to put them in their envelopes and address them 
And the second thing that I need to do is work on my teacher lesson planner, but I'll show you that in a minute. First, I just want to show you what these cards look like. I just think they're so cute. They say, thank you from the new Mr. and Mrs. And then on the inside, they're just blank so you can write your own note. And I actually got these brand new at a yard sale. They weren't even open yet, and there were 50 of these in the package. And it came with the little envelopes, too, in here that you can see. So anyways, when I went to the yard sale, these were listed at $5.00. But it was close to the end of the yard sale, so I figured if she hadn't sold them yet, she might let them go for a lower price. So she actually gave these to me for $3. So I got an entire set of thank you cards and the envelopes unopened for $3. So I thought that was a good deal. So I've been working on those tonight. So that's that. And then the next thing that I've been doing is working on my teacher lesson planner which I know you guys are probably like, why is she showing us that? But if you're a teacher, you know that lesson planners are pretty important, and I'm kind of obsessed with decorating them and getting them ready for the beginning of the year. So there's this website called TeachersPayTeachers.com, and actually this whole lesson planner was designed by another teacher, so all I had to do was kind of fill in my information and then print it. So she already had all the designs set up and all the papers that go in with it. So all I needed to do was get a binder and print them off. So I got this pink binder here and then this is the cover that I chose and like I said all I had to do was just change it to match my information. So I just have a few things in this side that I need to put away. Um, so when you open up the planner there is the set of post-it notes that I got from the Dollar Tree, which I really like because it fits into the three ring binder, except one of them already fell off, but I guess that's what you get for paying a dollar for it. So that's in there. And then the next thing I put in was the Chevron pencil case. And I got this so I could um, put like pencils and stuff in it, but it matches the cover with the Chevron. So that's why I like that. Hang on just one second. On the next page, I want to cover something up. It has phone numbers and things on it, so hang on just a second. Alright, so this page, I'm covering this section up, but this page just has kind of a teacher quote, and then it has some information like your name, your school, your room number, phone number, things like that in case you lose this. So that's that section. And then on the back, I haven't filled the kids' names in yet, but it'll be a class roster where you put the boys' and the girls' names. On this page, I'll be writing down my class schedule. And on the back, I kind of need to print off another one of these. I was going to leave it blank and I could just fill in the information, but I forgot to erase the section where it says to add the text. But this section will be for specials. So this will be like where I list each day what they have as far as gym, art, music, library, things like that. Um, this section, this page is for student and colleague birthdays. And then on the back, it has special classroom events, so you'd put your classroom parties, things like that, on that page. And this section, you use it to write down the kids' names, and then you can use it as a checklist for, like, their homework or things that need to be turned in. You can check off their, beside their names as they do that. And then on the back is my month at a glance. So this is kind of where, or sorry, not month at a glance, themes at a glance. So it goes through each month and you kind of write down what themes you're going to be covering for each subject area. Um, this section is take a peek at the month of August. So you can kind of write down what you're doing for each subject. Just jot down notes, um, staff meetings, just things you need to remember. Um, this is my August calendar. So it, on this calendar, I just use it for school stuff. I don't put like personal things in that. That's in my personal planner. But this one is just like basically all school events. And then right here will be the week at a glance. And then after that in this section also will be my lesson plans for each week, which I'll show you in a minute. I don't have that in the binder yet. And then this section are my Common Core um, curriculum goals kind of that I have to cover for third grade. So I have that for reading and math in here, just kind of to have as a reference. And then I think that's all I have in here for now. Here are my daily lesson plans that I'm going to have in there. But I'm going to actually type these, but I printed off a copy just so I could write down, you know, the times and the subject and kind of a daily routine that I needed to get set up, which I haven't finished yet, but 
once I do have this set up, I will type in the times and the subject, and then down here on the lines I can put exactly what I'm going to be doing during that time. So yeah, that's what I've been working on this evening, and I think that's going to be it for this vlog. Um, I'm going to go ahead and attach the clips that I have from the baseball game now, so we will talk to you guys later. Bye! Right now we're out to eat at a place called Skyline Chili, and I got, it's like spaghetti with chili and um, cheese and stuff on it. It's really good. We got cheese fries, and Justin got, they're called conies, but they're like hot dogs, so is it good? And then after that we're headed to the game. We have really good seats. Yeah. There's Justin. And the Reds are winning right now, actually. They've had a seven-game losing streak, and they're ahead by a point right now, so we'll see what happens.